Hello students, aniline is a very, very important compound in organic and the most fundamental point about its structure is that the hybridization of nitrogen. Sometimes students just look at it in a simple way and come to the conclusion that it is sp3 hybridized because it looks like this nitrogen is having three bonds, two with the hydrogen and one with this phenyl part let's call it a ph and they just see that there is a lone pair it's just like ammonia and they come to the conclusion that it is sp3 they do not go into further detail and if they have not studied about anything about resonance then they will definitely come to this conclusion but actually this conclusion is completely wrong it is not like that it is not like ammonia see for this you need to understand some basic of the electron delocalization. So let's spend a minute over that. You must be knowing that the benzene ring has a alternate sigma and pi bond arrangement like this. And when nitrogen is attached to that, then it has a lone pair, surely it's a lone pair, but this lone pair has a separate and a unique style. Why? Because it wants to get into this ring so that electron delocalization can take place like this. See, aniline shares, nitrogen shares its electron with the benzene ring in such a way that it acquires a partial plus charge and then rest of the things circulate in this ring like this, right? It goes to ortho and then para and then finally ortho, right? So if you look it at a sideways structure, then you will find the orbital of nitrogen that is carrying this lone pair is not exactly a hybridized orbital. It is a pure p orbital, right? It's a 2p orbital, which has a shared pair of electron and it shares this 2p orbital overlaps with the orbitals of benzene ring, right? Benzene has this electron delocalization. So it always has an interaction like that. So definitely the steric number of nitrogen is three and its hybridization is two because this lone pair is not in sp3 because it has to be parallel to the benzene ring plane. Uh, this p orbital has to be parallel to the benzene p orbitals and in order to have this delocalization which is shown like this that is called uh, plus m or plus r effect right and this is the reason why that uh, it's uh, aniline is a not a good quality base it's a poor base you will find that its pkb is very very high in comparison to ammonia or other amines so remember that aniline nitrogen is not sp3 hybridized so do not go to the conclusion like that first learn the basic and then come to the decision of hybridization